Hi mga sis! Kung bago ka sa aking channel, huwag kalimutang i-hit ang subscribe button at i-click notification bell para ma-update ka sa mga bago at bonggang uploads ko. For today's video, as you can see sa ating title, I will be sharing to you guys on what is my or what are the hormones, specifically inject injectable hormone that I'm using and it's very evident and clear as I said from my previous vlogs that I'm using the Finocanin F injection or the injectable hormones before at now, I will continue on using that kind of hormone and Sa video nga ito, ibabahagi ko sa inyo kung paano ko siya ini-inject or how to administer self-injection, specifically the use of Finocinon F injection as the hormone for my hormone replacement therapy. But before we will proceed in a particular video, I would just like to clarify things na I'm not promoting or I'm not in favor of self-medication and I, I'm not being hypocrite, but it is really not advisable to self-medicate, most especially it is not advisable to self-inject. It is much uh, highly appreciated if mag ask ka ng assistance from a doctor or a nurse. So the first thing that we need to do is, just like in making any project, so we really, ha we really need to have the following material. So in the process of HRT or in the process of self-injection, you need this following materials. First, you need the the alcohol so the alcohol the alcohol it will serve as a sanitizer in order for you to avoid infection and getting infected second you need the cotton pads the cotton pads and alcohol they are very important for you to avoid um the spread of bacteria or the spread of germs and in order for you to avoid further infections then we also need the syringe syringe like that specifically 3cc syringe since we will be doing intramuscular injection injection so you will be needing the 3cc and since we also since we also be using injectable hormones so it is much advisable to use syringe it is a very important tool and lastly the hormone itself so i myself i'm using the pinocinon f injection as you can see and it contains progesterone 50 milligrams and Estradiol benzoate 5 milligrams. So each box it contains three ampules like this. So those are those are the materials that we will be needing if we want to administer um, intramuscular injection through the use of phenokinin F injection. So at this point, we will now proceed to the different steps and how to properly administer intramuscular injection. So yun mga sis, ito doon na natin to ng bongga. So unang gawin is kunin ang alcohol at isanitize ang yung kamay. That way, may iwasan natin ang infection. Hindi natin gusto ang infection. We have to consider that this process is very risky. That is why we need to avoid infection as much as possible. And we can do that by sanitizing first. So, ready na tayo. Second step is to get the syringe. Kunin ng syringe. Like that. At buksan mo siya mga kasiswa. The purpose of doing this is to make sure na safe safe to make sure na talagang well intact ang syringe na ating gagamitin at yung needle dapat i-check siya para maiwasan ang discrash siya as we go along the way so okay siya mga sis so let's proceed to other step at this very point kunin mo ang hormone na gamit mo in my case i'm using the phenokinon F injection so i-open natin siya Kunin ng isang ampule because we didn't want to overdose, right? So, we will just be needing one ampule. 
at saka gawin mo ang bagay na ito like that wait muna ganyan, ganyanin mo siya mga kasis tapos 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 mo siya ganyanin ganyanin mo rin siya parang in our term design term para siyang labtikan or ginaganyan para yung solution is talagang pupunta dun sa kabuuan kabuuan ng solution Then you can break the ampule using the the um, packaging of the syringe, or you can also use cloth like that. So, na break na po natin yung ampule. Pagkatapos kunin ang syringe, book, open mo siya, tagalin mo yung takip, at you need to suck all the content of the ampule using the syringe. And you can do this way. And you can do that by doing such way as you've seen in the video. You need to suck all the content. You have to bear in your mind na mahal ang bili mo sa hormona yan. Kaya make sure na talagang walang nasasayang at talagang nakuha talaga lahat ng content ng ampule. That way, Hindi nasasayang ang yung gasto para sa proseso ng HRT. Oh, as you can see, talagang pinipilit ko talagang makuha lahat, lahat, lahat. Kasi ayaw kong masayang yung solution. Kasi nga, 1K is not... is 1K is already a big amount, especially for a student like me. So, nakuha ko na lahat, guys. Ilagay ulit ang takip, takip. Wait, you have to make sure na intak pa rin yung needle at itlagay yung takip and do this para maiwasan yung bubbles. We need to get rid of the bubbles because the bubbles it will just make the in inject or the injection site after injecting more painful. So, we need to remove the bubbles by doing that. And at this point, tinatanggal po natin yung air and also the bubbles. During that time, time guys, na, uh, medyo kinakabahan ako dahil it will be my first time administering. So, get the cotton pads or the cotton. Then, we will be needing two balls of the cotton. Una, sa pag-clean doon sa area kung saan natin siya i-inject. At pangalawa naman, after sa pag-inject na, pag-inject ng hormone. Then, lagyan ng alcohol ang cotton, cotton. Like that, as you can see. Very simple lang mga webs. You don't have to complicate things. At, we need to clean the injection site or the site where we are about to administer the injection. Do that in this motion, in circular motion, in order to really get rid of the dust and the dirt. Dirt. Let it dry. Let it dry for sec for us for how many seconds? At ito na yung ayon mga webs. Ito na ang pinakatakutan ko. But you need to locate the. The, the strategic area this this will we will be doing the intramuscular injection right so you need to locate the vasos laterales and that area na yan pwede na yan mga sis para sa intramuscular injection get the syringe with a solution and guys bear with this you need to locate the perfect area or the suitable area and you need to inject the syringe with a solution calmly it is very rare that in that video i'm not shaking i'm very calm and collected unlike my previous upload regarding how to inject my hormone i'm really shaking he heavily so push the as you can see i aspirate in order to make sure na hindi ako nakatama ng ugatan after aspirating push all the content of the syringe into your body by doing such 
and wait, wait, let the solution to come in inside to come inside your body and get the other cotton and eject the syringe and do like that. So that's it guys, it's very simple. But for me, doing it again this time, I feel like it's kind of like a risky thing but I managed it and I, I made it. It's a success. Walang dugo. So that's it guys. I really hope that you will learn something out of this vlog. And again and again, I will not be tired of reminding you to not self-medicate and to not self-inject and jack because it is very risky. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. God bless us all and see you on my next video. Light me up inside like a fourth of July Whenever you're